Erevan PTG versus Carbon Fiber PTG. And it is so obvious that the Carbon Fiber version will be stronger in every aspect. Correct? Correct. Back on another filament testing video, everyone contacted me, they wanted to send me some filaments for the testing and I started a poll on my YouTube channel asking the community what filaments you want me to test and most of you voted for these two filaments, PTG versus Carbon Fiber PTG. Before I even start with the testing, few words about carbon fibers in filaments. I think the most important purpose is the better printability, but sometimes they will make the part even weaker especially the layer adhesion. Uh, in case they may help uh, with the strength is the stiffness, for example, resist better to the bending, but only in XY direction, not along the Z axis because we have that weak layer adhesion. And also they help with the temperature resistance and we have nicer surface. We will see if that is the case with these two filaments too. I can see they have new cardboard spools, which is nice improvement compared to the old plastic ones, <laughs> which use a sticker which even covers the holes for locking end of the filament. And here we have this nice scale, so you can see approximately how much filament we have on the spool. And additionally, finally, we have the spool weight too, 175 grams. Maybe they watched my video about the perfect spool. And only one thing I would like to add to that video, adding some kind of stick tape to the cardboard spool, with this we can make it AMS compatible. The PETG is in this red color and the nozzle temperature is between 230 and 250 degrees Celsius and uh, the bed temperature regularly is 7580 and the printing speed maximal 80 millimeters per second. So this is typical for the regular PETG filaments. They don't like to be printed fast. The same recommended print temperatures we have on this carbon fiber PETG and this one is in a reddish purple color. The PTG will be printed on Bambola P1P and the carbon fiber version will be printed on X1 Carbon because it has a harder steel nozzle. According to their website, the filaments are dried 24 hours and then placed into this vacuum packaging with a desiccant inside. This is a good method and I will print them out of the box without drying. But PTG after the printing always store in some resealable bags with a desiccant inside. These bags are resealable. And the carbon fiber filament is not so rigid, which is typical for this kind of filaments. And here you can see it under the microscope. You can see very clearly those marks from the extruder. And properly you can see those carbon fibers melted into this plastic. In both cases I will use the textured PI sheet and the doors on X1 carbon will be opened. Let's check the settings, which will be the same for both materials. 250 on the nozzle, 80 on the textured plate, and 7 will be the flow, and these are different part cooling settings. The printing looks nice on both printers. This is X1 Carbon, and this is P1P. Printing is finished and both surfaces cool down. Prepare for the mechanical testing. I'm starting with tensile test with horizontally printed test object and this is PTG. This is average value for this test. And now this is carbon fiber version. And again average value. These are average values for PTG. Carbon fiber is slightly weaker compared to the regular one. Layer adhesion I'm starting with PTG. Not bad. And this is carbon fiber version. This is very good too. Very good layer adhesion in both cases, which is pleasant surprise. And very interesting cross section on the carbon fiber version. And here you can see the surface under the microscope. On share test, I have horizontally and vertically imprinted test objects with the same dimensions. Share test, side by side two materials. And these are horizontally printed versions. And now vertically printed where the layer adhesion is important. Very strong. Printed horizontally not bad, but printed vertically is very strong thanks to that good layer adhesion. The torque or twist test with horizontal and vertical printed test objects with same dimensions. I'm starting with horizontally printed versions and this is the load at 90 degree rotation. And also I'm recording the maximum load too, but the load at 90 degree rotation is more important for me. These are vertically printed and as always they break very suddenly. Not bad, especially this printed in vertical position. And this type of the break is typical sign of the good layer adhesion where it doesn't snap in just one layer. 
three point bending test where I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. Currently this is under 1.25 kilograms, side by side two materials. This is 2.5 kilograms. Less deformation on the carbon fiber version, 5 kilograms. 10 kilograms and very minimally additional deformation during the time. There is some problem with deformation on these test objects, but I already checked on flat surface, it is very equal on both sides. The temperature test in the oven, and uh, as always I have several tests in the progress. These two are R1 filaments. I analyzed the footage frame by frame, and PTG started to deform a little bit earlier, carbon fibers helps here. PTG is a little bit softer compared to the carbon fiber version, but the difference is not big. The creep test the deformation under the constant load of 1.25 kg. And I think the carbon fibers should help here. 1681. 15.03. So less deformation on the carbon fiber version. After 5 days, more deformation on PTG compared to the carbon fiber version. But let's measure them. 1753. 1563. Let's remove the load. After the test, almost no permanent deformation on them, just a little bit more on PETG. This means they are very close to that elasticity zone. And now the impact test with this half kilogram hammer. This is Erion PETG. Zero position. Carbon fiber PETG. Even the brake type is different, but uh, let's analyze the footage. This is the zero position of the hammer, and this is after breaking the PTG filament, and this after the carbon fiber version. This means that PTG is tougher material compared to the carbon fiber version, but in both cases these are very brittle filaments. And if I measure everything from the zero position, I can calculate the breaking energy. I printed two benches using the same settings, because I want to show you one more thing. Another good example for the print quality is uh, Bench's famous hull line. Not sure if it's visible on the screen too, but it is very noticeable on the PTG version and just very minimally noticeable on the carbon fiber version. And now let's analyze the results. This Excel table is downloadable from my techfun.com website, but for my Patreon supporters I'm adding these two lines to the summary table. Let's start with the creep test and here you can see the distance between two reference surfaces. Smaller values are better here, means less deformation, and here we can see the carbon fiber version is better. But if you watch the difference between two days, that's the creeping, we can see it is more or less very similar. Only on fifth day I could record a little bit bigger difference. On tensile test with horizontally printed uh, test objects, no big difference between these two test objects. With a layer adhesion, which I'm very happy about, that again we don't see bigger difference between them. On two-sided shear stress, uh, very similar values here. The carbon fiber was slightly better, and very similar values I got with vertically printed test objects too. Three-point embedding test, and here we can see the deformation under these loads after 30 seconds. Uh, smaller values are better, but this table is more interesting where we can see the deformation under these loads after 1, 30, and 60 seconds, and again smaller values are better. So. On smaller load it was very similar, then later the carbon fiber version was better, but uh, this part only I don't like here, that uh, on 10 kilograms, which is too big load of course for these test objects, I can see more deformation or creeping with the carbon fiber version. So it don't like uh, too big loads. On torque or twist tests I'm recording here the load at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load, but this is more important for me, so this is what I can see on this graph. And the carbon fiber version was better here, with vertically printed where the layer adhesion is important, no big difference, it's slightly better the carbon fiber version. And on our impact test, uh, we can see that the PTG is a tougher material compared to the carbon fiber version, but in both cases these are both very brittle materials compared to the, even to the PLA. And on the temperature test, uh, here uh, always the carbon fiber helps, so it started to deform at 83 degrees Celsius, and the PTG at 67, which is uh, slightly below average PTG material. Just quick conclusions for the end. 
Well, exactly what I expected. So carbon fiber helps with the better printability. We will have nicer printings, helps with temperature resistance, and the object will be stiffer in X and Y direction. But there is one pleasant surprise here, and that's the layer adhesion. It is very similar to the regular PETG, and actually because of this, I have some plans with this filament. I want to see how much higher can we go with the temperatures, because this was printed on 250 degrees Celsius, can we print it on 290 degrees Celsius? Will we have extremely bigger layer adhesion? Well, this is a subject for my future video. And you, if you would like to get the notification about that video, definitely you should subscribe and click the notification bell button too, because uh, very easily you can skip that video, because in most cases, my videos are not recommended by YouTube algorithm. I mean, you can check similar size channels has much more views than mine. Average view between four and 5,000, this is, I think, very low. And usually those are getting notifications who click that notification bell button too. Anyway, that video will be created if you rewatch or not. Thank you for watching this one and happy printing.